Hi, my name is Erica Hood, and I am the co-founder of a nonprofit organization, SIAD, here in Cleveland, Ohio. SIAD stands for See You at the Top, and I am the director of social equity and engagement. During the pandemic, we've seen like the increased need for folks just to get outside. And as we are immersed in nature, we know firsthand those benefits, those mental health benefits, those physical health benefits. And we feel like if we don't get our community members out here to kind of benefit from all of this, then we're doing them a disservice. I'm Kim Woodford, and my organization is Journey on Yonder, or JOY. I am the founder, principal consultant, and chief community engagement officer. My pronouns are she and her. Journey on Yonder's mission is to inspire healthy relationships and connections to nature for people who've been primarily disenfranchised, that is black and brown people, to have healthy experiences in nature that will lead to increased racial equity and inclusion. My name is Robin Brown. My pronouns is she, her. The organization I work with is Collective Citizens Organized Against Land. I am the Chief Executive Officer. Our mission is to educate, empower, collaborate to end childhood lead poisoning. I'm so grateful that someone actually, you know, tapped me to apply for this particular cohort because at the time I felt like I was lacking leadership development in, in, in how I'm going to run my organization. What led me to join the EJ cohort at Cleveland Vote was the opportunity to meet other community leaders and to grow as a leader. You know, one of the benefits that we found in working with this cohort is honestly just the connections and the knowledge. I entered this space and I was really apprehensive and scared. I was like, you know, SIA doesn't do civic engagement. You know, we're not really in a space of um, advocating for equitable democracy. Like, we, we're just not there. But as I went further along in the cohort, I realized that, like, we are doing the work. We really are already doing the work that we thought we weren't doing. And, you know, just having the leadership of Cleveland folks in that cohort really um, affirming us and encouraging us and letting us know that, you know, it's stay in our lane and just, you know, keep doing what we're doing, but we all are like pieces of a bigger puzzle. I'm about increasing outcome, health outcomes for in communities of color and underserved communities. So how do I get that message out? I and mean, how can we, you know, flip that so that we can become advocates against that, knowledgeable advocates against that. So that's why I applied for this um, cohort. And, I've, and I believe that it's, it's given me more than what I've actually come, you know, uh, entered in seeking. So thank you. It means so much to me to be a black led environmental justice leader. The tools I learned um, to use from the cohort is the equitable and inclusive civic engagement, a guide to trans transformative change, utilizing the Kerwin Institute model. I would definitely recommend this cohort to anyone who is, you know, kind of stepping into the environmental justice lane and they think they need more support. I think the resources, the financial resources that we were given um, really allowed us to take time to focus on this issue. I would recommend the cohort to fellow co-workers that is working in the environmental justice space to gain the opportunities and the knowledge and the tools that I have. Oh, I would definitely, and actually I have, <laughs> um, recommended the EJ cohort to some of my other friends and colleagues who are doing work in this uh, area of creating equity and addressing environmental justice issues in the work that they do.